Well, when you find a watch in a rosewood box, it usually means it's something quite interesting. And indeed, this is. Um, first of all, we can tell straight away who the maker is without even opening the watch, because it's marked Albert Potter and Company. But he was an interesting man, because he was an American, and although there were some extremely good American watchmakers, um, they were not known for making individual technical pieces. And Albert Potter, who I think his dates are something like 1836 to 1908, was one of the few American makers who's, who's known for his individual watches, as against from the huge companies like Waltham and Elgin, who made many millions of very good watches, but, but not the individual craftsmanship. It's a strange thing for somebody to have. Wait, wait, can I ask where you were? Just family or? Family. It was in my husband's family. Cousin Henry, he was known, and he collected it. And uh, so we've had it many years. You can see straight away the stunning quality. My assure plates with this decoration on them. A beautiful quality balance wheel. And in fact, it's actually got what they call a pivoted detent escapement. And the pivoted detent escapement was the final answer, really, to chronometers at sea. But they made very high precision pocket watches with the same, the same escapement, and this is one of them. They are so rare uh, that uh, it would be a difficult one to know how much it would fetch, actually. You got a figure in mind? Well, it was valued about 11 years ago for um, 15,000 mm -hmm. pounds. It hasn't changed surprisingly that much. Mm -hmm. I would say now it should definitely be 20. Wonderful. Well, I'm very lucky because I rescued them from a dustbin. You didn't? I did, yes. I studied at an art school, and when I was working um, at a studio that did um, painting for costumes and films, they were throwing them out. So I said, may I have them, please? And I've had them for 40 odd years. This one, for instance, this is by Roger Furs, who was a, a superb draftsman. This is um, for Lady Hadley and Woman Hater, Edith Evans. W wonderful. It's, it, it's, for me, it's, it's a drawing in itself with, with the watercolour on top. Mm. Um, it's obviously meant to be exactly how they were going to clothe her. And all these, what she had to wear underneath and wearing a sable and there's her sable. Wonderful. It even looks like her, and it's only meant to be for the costume, isn't it? Mm. Now, this is another well-known um, costume designer called Barclay Sutcliffe. Now, Myra Lister, this is another one. We don't know exactly what this was going to be. I think it was sweetest and lowest. I, I love the pinched-in waist. It's wonderful. I think this, this fashion ought to come back, don't you? It's, it's very much a fashion of the 40s, isn't it? Very much, very They're much. Sort of like fashion plates. And um, beautifully executed. So that is very fragile. I'm going to just... It's amazing they didn't sort of scrunch it up to throw it away. I doubt they didn't. It's, yes, so am I. <laughs> this is a... Splendid one. Look this at this. Is Hermione this is Gingold. Hermione Gingold holding what is meant to be, I suppose, a Venetian mask yes. in front. And look at the eyelashes. Aren't they <laughs> wonderful? Again by Barclay Sutcliffe. Um, this is Sweetest and Lois, so obviously Moira Lister and Hermione Gingold, both in the same production. Absolutely wonderful. Again, very decorative. Very decorative. Um, and I think, in a way, the value lies in that. The Roger Furs was almost more collectible than any of the others. Um, so the Roger Furs one, we're talking about maybe £200. Um, this one, because it's Hermione Gingold, there's a great following of her, um, and collectors will probably pay somewhere around 100 150 possibly up to 200 for this one. But you've got a huge collection there. This yes. is the tip of the iceberg. Yes. So together, if, if you really work out on an average of 100 to 250, I think you must have probably 5,000 pounds worth there. I think probably yes. Thank you. I've got I've got a lot more actually at home. Have you? Yes. Oh my goodness. But this one is, I think, probably one of the nicest. Yes, I think so too. Wonderful.